Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Vase Plays EU4. So, we are slowly approaching the ability to... Ooh, okay, we actually lost our Diplo, so that's not good. We'll probably annex Breslau and Ratibor first. It's going to take nine months. How's everyone else doing, though? I hope you guys are doing all right. And that will give us just a little bit more access to the mainland. To continental Europe. Um, sounds good. Local seller increase. Local revolt risk going up is not good. But, you know, what are you going to do? So, and we are going to be doing two at once. Which is going to hurt us a little bit from a monetary standpoint. But we, we make more than enough money to... Not particularly worry about that, so. And of course, the, we, we want to save up in general so we can get these guys easy. It should take us 10 years to do. And I'm pretty sure... Yeah, 14. So, I'm, I'm happy not to go to war with anybody. I don't think uh, England is going to let that happen. But... I'm, I'm more than pleased to just let things go. I definitely want to grab this little bit here in Brittany. Because once we gain access to all of England, my my personal feelings, say them all, give them what they want. Not the best thing to get since we are losing quite a lot of Diplo points. Our king is is uh, pretty crap. The sun's a little bit better, but actually worse on the Diplo aspect, actually. So we can also change our uh, projection, whatever you want, our national focus every 25 years. I did look that up. So with that being said, I think we just kind of let things lay low for a little while. That's my personal feeling on the matter. I don't know how you guys feel. I suppose it doesn't matter, because you guys are going to see this a couple days after I record this. So, not a big deal. France, you you have your you had your chance, man. I guess we should uh, improve relations with them, just, just in case. I mean, I'd, I'd like to get them back into an alliance... They're, they're really strong. They're really mad that I've broken an alliance with them. But uh, it was kind of not my doing. Yeah, there's still nine. That's ridiculous. I really have no idea how they got to nine. When literally nobody... No one else is at nine. No, I guess Castile is. Oh, and I guess Portugal is. So that sucks that they are so high. It's literally... Okay, it's not as high as it used to be. Um... We need a lot of admin points, but we will we will for sure become uh, sorry. Uh, we will definitely become Scandinavia. You can never have too much grain, so that's good. These things aren't going to go too quickly, unfortunately. But what are you going to do? We've we kind of hamstrung ourselves. So, I guess we go and take care of, of this. Otherwise, we're going to be in trouble. There we go. Muscovy still has 15 men. Are they allied with anybody? They are allied with the Teutonic Order. Which is actually not good for them. And they only have a military of 7. We have a military of 8. Solikomsk, where is that? It's probably where we're doing the um, conversion. I believe it's over here. Oh, they left. Okay, good. It's very good for them. I would love to take more of Novograd, but they've got some relatively nearby allies that I'd rather not have to deal with. So... That's where we're at. 
So I guess we just wait seven more years so that we can start integrating these guys. I mean, we could we could build stuff, but I I'm kind of wanting to get to military tech ten or nine. We're almost done converting, which is good. Protestant Reformation is gonna hit in a couple years, and that's gonna go all sorts of crazy. That'll that'll be interesting to see how how that uh, transpires. So, Novgorod has twenty three men. It's quite a lot, Novgorod. And they're pretty mad at us, and rightfully so when you think about it. Yeah, they're still not happy about the whole fucking them over. But they, I don't know if they won, if they won or someone else won. I have no idea what happened there. And we'll have 200 improved relations with these guys, which is great. Yeah, I did make um, Scotland angry about the military access thing, even though they were my vassal, which automatically means they get it. But, you know, what are you going to do? So, I mean, it's it's good that it's slow here in the whole going and getting people department, simply because, that's fine, um, simply because otherwise we're going to have to convert all of Russia, and that'll suck. What is this little island here? Is this part of, what is this? Oh, it's part of Oldenburg. They're at war with Brandenburg, Brunswick. What we should really do is we should just start, like, taking vassals on the coastline here. And then crush them between all of our forces. I don't know if that'll work out very well, but we can give it a shot. We have quite a few men. Can I move this guy? Yeah, we can. Okay. No no point in him being on the islands, really. With the supply limit is 40 right there, so. Once once the revolt risk goes down across across the board, I will send um Adolf Koss out over to Britain. And we'll start talking about what we're going to do about them. Um, military, armies, Britain. It, well, it's called England, not Britain. Kyle, uh, Va, sorry. Um, our force limit is 53. We could actually start building more of a force. Where is, where is... I have, I've missed England. Um, England is 35, but their, their troops are quality. Unfortunately, ours are not quite there. So, oh. so we'll just build some more men. These, you know, our force limit is, is quite large. So that's always nice. Silesia, so how you doing, buddy? Your culture is going to suck to change because your base tax is real damn high. I think it's like 10 base tax, so that's going to be 60 points and 30 points. I think it's something like that. I think so. Some, something along those lines. So, But hey, if we can have a larger army than what we've got, then we should, you know, probably do that. So, What is our naval force limit? 67. Well... Recall diplomat. Um, and back and ship and early Carrick. Are are they they have a higher? Obviously, they have a, a better diplo point than us. Deny it fervently. Lose five prestige is, is fine. Um, so yeah, revolt risks going down across the board. We are getting closer to being able to form Scandinavia. Okay, we're halfway there. We're making such such low points 
right now. Which means these guys are gonna get... Oh, yep, they're at 9-2. God, really? You guys fucking cheat. You guys fucking cheat like hell. Okay. Uneventful episode, I know. I apologize. But this is what has to happen if we are to succeed. Called diplomat. This won't be decaying anytime soon. <laughs> so even if we have only 150 in improved relations, same goes with Silesia. It'll all be fine. They allow us military access, which isn't going to really matter for uh, forever. We we can't even have. Excuse me. Apologies. The amount of points that it would take for us to tech up to tech 9. So, I don't even know how these guys had the ability to go to tech 9. But they shouldn't be able to go to tech 10 until we're able to catch up to them to tech 9. So, um, well, let's just throw this guy, Adolf Koss. And you can have Adolf Cause this is Hess, they want military access, they can have it. Okay. And just taking a look at stuff. Our war exhaustion is zero. Ein Halt wants military access. I don't want to be the defender of the faith, thank you. And inflation's okay, we're making money. It's all about the money. And I think other than that, we're actually not doing too terribly badly. I really just want to finish these ideas. We should have... Why? We, we should have... Oh, that's plus five diplomatic reputation. We get a bonus. Um, when we complete it. Um, so we can have two more men. Okay. Now the question is, are all their men on British soil? Because that matters, believe it or not. I'm going to move this guy to the port. These things are, again, going slow, um, but that's okay. Soon, soon, we'll be able to uh, accomplish what we need. And the battle for the battle for England should be pretty intense. I just want France on my side for it. Yeah, they're pretty pissed off. Um, Poland, okay. It's been a couple days since I've played. Actually, it's been, been quite a few days since I've played. Uh, we can tech up yeah, and, and that. That's understandable. I'd rather not. So we got five more years. Aragon's still going pretty darn strong. Good for Aragon. They're still in a personal union? No, they're not. That broke. I don't want to see that. We see this. How long? Almost done. Oh no, it's not really a problem for me. Let's see, dynastic actions. I would love to claim the throne. That'd be so awesome. What happens on his death? Frederick von Wittelbeck succeeds to the throne. That would be pretty awesome, if you ask me. I'd be so happy getting all of France. Do you know how huge that would be? I'd laugh my goddamn head off. 
that would be extraordinary. He's only plus one. Yeah. Lithuania is at war with Onhalt and Hess. Really? Onhalt and Hess are going... Poland, Thuringia, Bavaria, Lithuania, and Novgorod. And for some reason, Austria didn't go and help. That is uh, interesting. That is very interesting. Is the Hans still allied? Yes. With England, Teutonic Order. How do you guys feel about... Um... Oh, fuck. Here it is. Thoughts of disapproval against the Roman Catholic Church are spreading across Europe as a result of the increasing corruption of monks and clerics. Voices are raised questioning the current principles and greed of the Church. A monk in Marienburg has for some time expressed these concerns and is now openly declaring his discontent with the Church, paving the way towards a reformation of the faith. So, we are going to have to contend with that. That's going to suck. 125? Okay, so it's more. That sucks. Okay. That sucks. Yeah, cheaty fucking computers, man. They must have just saved up all their military points and just rushed... What idea group do they even have? They probably well, they have obviously more than one. They have exploration, which means that they're actually out looking at things in the U Americas. Yep, there it is. They've just begun. It's going to be a pain in the butt to uh, take them over completely because of that. Yep, there it goes. Chedron just hit uh, Protestant. Send him to Rome. In uh, Chedron. Protestant. Yep, told you. The increased secularization of the papacy and their accentuation of rituals has gradually invoked concern across Europe. Yep, here it goes. Here it goes. Protestant Reformation's hitting us. Two provinces just changed over, and we can't change them back because of religious zeal. Yep, that just knocked our uh, religious unity down a whole bunch. So if that continues to happen, we might just change to Protestant. It's the only way to, to actually succeed. Told you, told you it was going to hit us. Right there, you know. Makes sense that it would hit us. I don't know where that province is. Alright, it must be somewhere in Norway or Sweden then. We got four more years and we can integrate. Oh, I can actually... That's strange. Yeah, religious zeal, apparently. Hit a fever pitch. Yep, okay, well. We'll, we'll work on Chedron. I really want to get this, but we have to wait. Once Silesia can be integrated. 15 a month, that's... 100 and some... I love you guys. Oh, good. We actually just got a free uh, 50 points. Which is good. That's very nice. Excuse me. Apologies for hiccuping. Okay. I'm military tech 10. Fuck you. God, I hate them. They're not. Ah, oh, fuck. Well... There goes, there it goes. There goes our uh, religious unity. We could change.
I don't know what that would do. If it starts to get too bad, then we'll 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 totally convert. But uh, it's hitting us pretty dang hard. It it just changed over. That's three provinces that have changed over. And that's that's actually quite um quite worrisome to me. Okay. I don't. I, yeah, I'm. I'm concerned because if we do that, these guys will get pissed. I really want them as a. You guys need to just our milit our army strength. How many men do you have, France? Uh, I. I guess you actually do have more than you do, but not for long. Once once we can start integrating Scotland, that will be a huge gain for us so we got three more years i'd really like to end this with us beginning to integrate them that's how i want to end this episode and silesia just changed one uh to to protestant so like i said if the protestant reformation continues to spread then we have no choice but to change because as you saw it's almost impossible to, to convert them back so we either want to deal with the revolt risk. Chedron has a plus six. Which sucks. Like I said, it's going to really fucking suck. We're going to have tons of revolt risk popping up all over the place. I said it might just might just um might just help to start con to just to convert well here here's what we're gonna do we're gonna see what happens when we convert so I'm pretty sure we're supposed to get a plus 10 and I don't think it's it, I don't know if it'll break the, the marriages that we've got Okay. Okay. What's this? Fuck that. Okay. We lost a hundred prestige. Okay, that's a little scary. I wish we had an extra an extra um Dude, extra missionary. So how long does this does that last? Yeah. That is a ton of prestige to have lost. So much prestige. Well, things things seem to actually be going our way. Um, let's see. Ten years. Okay, Olenets is going. Yep, this was a this was a smart move. This was a smart move. Oh, we actually hit 999. Which means we are literally going to... Oh, there we go. We are military tech. Yeah, they're military tech 10, which is bullshit, but... Nothing I can do about that. If we could just have more people get converted to... to um. Protestant, that'd be really awesome. I'd really like that. I might even go for Lothian next, because I think there's a higher chance of getting a Protestant um, religion. We're losing tons of money. Who are they at war with? Novgorod, yep. Yeah. Okay, we're actually we're losing money because um, all of our guys are well, all of our provinces are are Catholic. 
Stockholm just changed the Protestant, so that, um, National Revolt Risk plus three. No matter what we do, it's gonna be a clusterfuck. Gets religious turmoil until end of doing tolerance of the true faith. Oh yeah, fuck, fuck this. We'll, we'll um, we'll let other places start. Once, once there's a larger, once there's a larger sway, I will, I will go. I will do, I will do what I need to do. But that is detra fucking mental. So yeah, what what they are doing is they just they have since they are at that point to be able to con to convert. They are just they they don't they're not spending their military points. So there's no need for them to to uh, do anything. So more more religious people will uh, will come. More more places will convert, and once once that happens, then we will will change over. Or we could take you know we could take religious ideas before taking humanitarian ideas, and just kind of like bust it out. Because that gives us that'll give us actually a lot of really good um a lot of really good chances. So saying until September of 1511, we won't have enough points. So England is expanding, which is not good for us, but um, so are we. So their men might, they may even have a lot of men over there. I don't honestly know how many men they've got. So they're going to have Protestant uh, issues here soon too. And usually Britain actually changes over to Protestant relatively, excuse me, swiftly. So... I'm not particularly concerned. Yeah, 106 to get to 10. How they how they have that ability is unfair. If it's if they have a a bonus, they have a negative, so they shouldn't be at at plus 10. That's bullshit. Like that, that is bullshit game, and and you and I both know it. So, one more month, and we will be able to get modern theocracy. Ah, uh, no, you can't. Because fuck you. I'd love to be able to just take their their sea base. That's my goal. So, um, why did that change? Okay, that's bullshit. Did Onhalt win? Poland didn't grow, so I'm I'm curious as to what instigated that. I guess the world may never know. Well, what we will do is take religious ideas, and then we'll take humanitarian ideas. Done, and our color changed. Does Bremen still exist? Oh, look at that. Bremen does still exist. I don't have any national. There's Scandinavia, folks. That's awesome. I am so happy. So two more years, I don't care. I imagine this war will be over relatively quickly. I, nope. Really? All Scandinavian cultures view Scandinavia as their nation, thus giving no penalties. Fuck you, game. Finnish is not a Scandinavian culture, however. We actually do really need to work on getting our Finnish and Estonian and Latvian uh, changed over. But Diplo points are 
are uh, important to us, so... So yeah, we will definitely go and take the religious ideas first, and then once we get 14... Because, you know, we're going to slow down on, on admin as well, so... We'll start integrating uh, these guys here very soon. Um, influence actions, annex vassals. January 22nd, 1514. So literally, like, two more years. So, the Ottomans are at war and winning against Venice and Genoa. Religious civil disorder in uh, the Hansa. Which I guess, is it just kind of me laughing? Oh, they changed the Protestant. So... That was very quick for them, I must say. They did, they, they did an about turn very swiftly there. Lennox Duncan, Axel Beige, and Olaf Pallison. We need more money. We need more cash. J.G. Whitworth, 877 cash. Now, I really like this red border. I think that's really awesome. So in 1512, we converted to Scandinavia, which is awesome. Silesia, you are probably a little bit behind. Yep, October. So we have to start with, Scan with uh, Scotland, which isn't a terrible place to start, considering. That's uh, 2, 6, 10... 14, 14 months F. Yeah, it's, it's a month per base tax. So that's 14 times, I believe it's 11 Scottish peasants. We'll go and assist. Because those will be our peasants. Okay, well, we don't have to assist, actually. So. I'd actually be very happy if we could just speed things up, but I don't necessarily want to. So I, I think we'll be at, like, two, 270 Diplo points by the time we can be finished with this. If I had to guess, Danzig. Oh, yeah, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six against there. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's no way. And zeal until 1535. That's like 20 years. Actually, more. It's like 25 years. That is ridiculous, but everyone seems pretty happy, so I can't complain. Everyone just seems real excited to be doing what they're doing. Our military, our army tradition is pretty crap, which is why we have crap uh, generals, and the same isn't actually applied to our enemies. They get, like bonuses on really good generals, which is another cheaty bastard thing that the uh, NPCs like to do. So, not much I can do about that. If we didn't have our general, or our leader being so crap militarily speaking, we have a ton of, a ton of um, people to be married to, so we should have heirs out the butthole. Hopefully, and hopefully some of them are good. A 655 air would be beautiful. Oh, and our, uh, our, our flag changed, too. I didn't even notice that. That's awesome. I like that a lot. We're going to have to bring in all our ships once England is done. They're allied with Portugal, the Papal State, and the Hansa. I'm surprised that the Hansa has um, lasted that long. Portugal won't change over. Portugal and Castile never really get uh, Protestant stuff. And they are in a personal union under Burgundy, which is actually really scary.
So the, the question will become, where do we want to take in England first? And what are we going to do about the Hansa? Because the Hansa is probably the worst part that we've got right now. So, and they've got 23 men. These are huge. So, yeah. Um, Magdeburg is pretty big. And, uh, Catholic. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how this, how this Protestant Reformation thing is going to work out, fellas. Um... We've got one more month until we can start integrating, which is, like I said, when I'm going to end the episode. Um, it's taking us a long time, but we ha we are going to have, like, explosive west, eastern, or, yeah, explosive eastern growth. So, good. Poland is having uh, religious disobedience and civil disorder. Um, so that's, that's good. Um, they may actually change to Protestant. Yep, Protestant zealots all over the place. So, I'm happy to see that. Like I said, we are going to go until I can get both, because I would like to be able to start making more uh, Diplo points. And we'll see what comes of that. It'd be really nice if England would just, you know, splinter with their Irish people. Just, you know, traditionally speaking, or technically speaking happened quite a bit with the Catholic and the Protestant issues that go on. So I really, really want to get quests for the New World so that I can get another general. I didn't necessarily need to do that. I probably shouldn't have done that. But, um, you don't need a general here, so. A leader. Okay. So, I'm going to begin on Scotland. 154 Diplo points. And then in October, we'll start doing Cilicia. Uh, acknowledge the fact. Deny it fervently. Well, we'll get, uh, we'll get that back. It's going to be low no matter what we do, so. They are part of the HRE, so this is going to make... Um, our friends in Austria just a tiny bit annoyed with us. More Protestant zealots. Which is awesome. I wish they were national zealots. That's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Annex Vassal, the 11th of October. So, it's eight more months. We are so behind on on score. It's not even funny. Our our ships are completely worthless. We are we're we're nothing. <laughs> we got our we got these guys, which is good. So maybe hopefully Scottish will become a uh, important thing in our country. And believe you me. I'm, I'm going to rush the religious ideas. Because if we do change over to Protestant, which so far seems to be not happening, but it, it might. I really want to go to war with... Um, with England, who are still Catholic, but I already saw the Protestant Reformation has um, started, I think. Yep, there it is in Yorkshire. So, when will they be done? They're already halfway through. So, in uh, a month, it's time. We will get these guys. The annexation will cost 99. So, that's good. That's good. We're already halfway through integrating Scotland. Wind, which is good. That's going to be more land for us. Okay. So we'll end it there. It's been a very long episode, I know. And I will talk to you guys in the next episode. As always, thanks for watching.